Hi friends, I am Dr. Vinay Kumar. I am going to talk to you about English grammar. Generally, the people fear English grammar. They are scared of English grammar. I don't know why they, they fear and even the school students, they are scared of English grammar. And many have approached me about English grammar. So I thought I'll just talk to you regarding English grammar. Let's see what is grammar first. Suppose you are driving in, on the road, or you are walking along the road. There are certain rules to be followed. And it is mandatory that you follow those rules. If you don't follow those rules, there is no guarantee that you will be coming back home. It's the same way the usage of English also. If you want to use a language, there are certain rules, a set of rules that you will have to follow. Only then your language will become perfect. Only then people will appreciate you. And that those sets of uh, rules that you have to use in a language is called grammar. And now I am going to talk to you about the basic grammar. There are thousands of words available in English. Each one has his own vocabulary. And all these words come from a particular house. We all come from different houses and uh, by uh, at the end of the day we go back to our houses also. I cannot go to somebody's house and somebody cannot come to my house. My permanent house is one and I come from there and I go back there. Similarly, the words also have houses. The only difference is that we have quite a lot of houses whereas the words have only eight houses. Each word comes from one house. So we will have to recognize and we will have to identify the word where it comes from. And then we have become half champions. Now do you want to know the names of those houses? Okay, you can note it down. The first one is noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. These are the eight houses and these houses form a colony and that particular colony has a name that's called parts of speech. So parts of speech has eight houses in that from where all the words come and each word has a house depending on the work that the word is doing in a sentence it goes to a particular house so parts of speech is the main thing in english and parts of speech has eight groups in that i repeat those things noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction and interjection that's enough today. I'll be giving you a series of talk on grammar and I'm sure I can give you a guarantee that you are going to be alright with your grammar once you follow my classes. And you can also subscribe my channel and in case you have any friends who would like to learn grammar you can just share this video with them also and in case you have any clarifications keep watching my video and you will be able to become champions in English. Bye, take care.